Welcome back everybody. Um, so today's been a little busy. Um, so my daughter had physio this morning, so I took her to that. Um, everything was fine, so no concerns, but we've still got to carry on with it. Just because she's, she was born so early um, that they've got to keep a really close eye on her, just in case if anything pops up now, they can deal with it. And then it's better for her in the long run. So that's what's happening with that. But everything's fine. There's no concerns. But she's still being seen monthly. Um, I'm having to follow up with her cardiology. Because she's due to have an operation. I got told she would get a letter. Um, three weeks ago. We've not, we've not yet. Um, so I've, I've uh, followed up with her cardiac nurses. Um, so they'll follow up with um, her doctor. Um, at Great Ormond Street. Because that's where she's having it done. Um which is like three a two hour drive from my house but you know it's uh it's worth it uh be good for her um in the long run um so waiting for that i just want it over with to be perfectly perfectly honest i just want it done um not just for my sake but for for her as well because uh, she's she's not outwardly struggling but her the left side of her heart is dilated because it's working harder so I just want it fixed uh, and things like that. I apologise about my hair, it is wet, I've just had a shower <laughs> and if it looks a bit odd. Um, so yeah, so that's been my day really. Walked to the post office again um, and I did another walk while she was asleep just to get my steps up, get some fitness going, um, trying to get some exercise in. Um, so yeah, so that's what's happened today. I still can't hear out of my ear which is really, really annoying me now. Um, all I get is buzzing. Um, but I can't hear certain things, it's really annoying. Um, so I'm gonna have to see how that goes. Thursday, I've got an appointment, they're gonna look in my ear again, see what's happening. I've still got pain, I'm okay as long as I don't miss a tablet. If I'm on a pretty um, strict regime of ibuprofen and cocodamol, and if I miss one of them, or if I'm getting close to needing to take it again I know about it because it starts to hurt and then the longer I wait the more it hurts so it's one of them that I just I don't know what to do anymore I'm near the end of my antibiotics so you know it is what it is um but I'll have a look on Thursday see what it's doing um so yeah so tomorrow uh Rosie's got her weekly visit they they check her oxygen saturations because she's still on home oxygen they just make sure that that's okay and she's doing okay um they normally weigh her but now she's moved to two weekly weighs because she's putting on a lot of weight so they're very very happy with her weight gain so they're not too concerned about it so they move from weekly to bi-weekly um so she'll be weighed the week after which is the same day she's gonna have her injection so that's gonna be fun um well, yeah, so, right, um, so my Fitbit, so my Fitbit data for today, I've done 13,624 steps, which is really good, I was aiming for 10,000 a day, as I said in my previous videos, but I've gone over that today, so I'm quite happy with that, um, so 15 floors, that's me running up and down, um, uh, as usual, uh, 17 minutes exercise, that's probably a combination of me running around in physio to, to um, do things with my daughter. Also the two walks I had, one to the post office and one uh, around the block before I was trying to um, quick walk um, to make up for things. Um, and that's my quick walk there, the 40 minute one that you can see I did at 8 of 31. And there's another one there at 3.50, what was I doing at 3.50? Goodness knows. Oh, that was a walk to the post office. So, yeah. So, it took 15 minutes. Um, and I know it says outdoor bike. And I figured out why it says outdoor bike. Because I'm walking. And I was like, well, why does it say outdoor bike if I'm walking? It's because I've got the pram. And obviously, the pram, you don't move your arm. It's kind of stationary. So, then it thinks I'm on a bike. Because <laughs> I'm obviously exercising. And it's like, why? What type of exercise would you not move your hand for? But biking, obviously. Um, so, yeah. So that's everything on there. So, and then if I go on and show you my uh, my fitness pal, I'm still sticking with the 1,500 calories. Um, I'm going to see how it goes. If I end up not losing weight 
or if I don't lose, if I lose less than, I'm going to say two pounds, then I'm going to reduce it further than that. Um, but I'm going to see how it goes. I didn't want to go too quickly um, and burn out. I want to do this for the long haul. I want to get to my goal weight. And my goal goal's nine and a half stone. So I'm, I'm way away from that. But I don't want to burn myself out too quickly. Um, and I think it's going to happen if if I do too much. Um, I don't want that to happen. So today I've used one thousand. 317 calories so I've technically got 273 remaining I'm not going to use them um I kind of said to myself I've got 1500 calories if I don't use them all I don't use them all um so I want to be somewhere between the 1200 mark and the 1500 mark I don't want to be less than 1200 but I don't want to be more than 1500 and that's what I've told myself so anywhere in between them two is okay with me um so yeah so I've had my typical tea in the morning. Uh, I had some crisps. I know not not the best breakfast. I should have really had some porridge, um, but I was rushing out because of her appointment. I know it's an excuse. Um, and then the quick ad is uh, I had a quiche from yesterday that I made from the pension on book. Um, so that's my quick ad, and I had some smarties with that again. I know not the best. Um, for dinner, there's a lot of a lot of uh, ingredients there, but basically I had a. Uh, Two slices are roast beef, um, just like the packeted ones. Um, uh, homemade Yorkshire puddings and some homemade chips. Um, so and some peas, some frozen peas. So that was my 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 tea. Um, so yeah, so so that's what I've had today. Um, according to Fitbit, oh, and I had a caramel bar, you know the tonics ones. Um, so apparently I burnt off one thousand calories again. I don't know how accurate that is. I, I take it with a pinch of salt. Again, I'm not going to eat a thousand calories back, if that makes sense, because I just don't see the point in that. If I wanted to maintain my weight, I might look at it, but um, I'm not. I want to lose the weight. So, yeah. So, um, tomorrow, as I've said, I'm the community nurse is coming about half eleven um, to do her oxygen and things like that and make sure she's okay. Um, and I think I'm free for this day, so I'm just going to be writing out thank you cards for my for the christening that we had on the 1st of August um, to say thank you to people. Uh, I'll probably take another walk to the post office and send some more cards out and stuff like that, um, just to keep up some exercise. Plus I want Rosie to get some fresh air every day, uh, so I'll take her for a walk. She, she likes looking around a lot, so I think that's really good for her. Um, and then I've got a dress coming actually. I ordered a dress because uh, we've got a wedding on the 18th of September. So I know I'm not going to lose a lot of weight by then, but I'm going to try my best to lose as much as I can. But I've ordered a dress, it's like a size, it's an, it's an extra, extra large. And it's about a uh, 16 to 18 dress, which is about where I am now. Because I don't think I'm going to drop a dress size in two weeks, to be honest. Um, I'm going to try, obviously, but I don't think it's going to happen. Um, so I've ordered a dress, so I'm going to try that on tomorrow actually, and I might show you actually, um, I might try to show you that dress if I try it on later, but yes, but it looks very nice on the on Amazon, I hope it's, I hope it's okay, it got five stars, so I'm hoping it comes okay, and I'm hoping it fits, but you never know, um, but yeah, so if you like this video, um, please subscribe, if you want to follow me, follow my journey, um, subscribe and like, uh, if you have any questions, you want to know anything about me, uh, any suggestions, any queries, comment below and I, sh I want to answer that, I'll answer them in the next video if you have any, um, so thank you for watching and I hope to see you again soon, thank you.